Celebrating the 40 day Swanian burial ceremony of Alaji Latif Jakunde LKJ, the first civilian governor of Lagos State 1979 to 1983, Tuesday 23rd March 2021 at the Police College Pavilion, Oba Akinjobi with GRA Ikeja, Lagos, in attendance are dignitaries from different parts of the nation. So he is the one that has led us here and he has one mandate that he's always told us about this, that Tinika Ashwadi, the government of Africa, represents uh, stability, represents development, represents you know greatness. So we would not derail from somebody you know in that mode. So Jagabat 23, it's a vow, it's a mandate, and we continue to move up until when God leads us to victory. So Thank we are here. I have to describe him as a great man, a visionary leader, a developmentalist by excellence. Uh, he is an administrator, a man from the fourth realm of the estate. With his past experience, we have been able to see what a large native Jack on have, demo have practically do in Lagos State. So he has an outstanding legacy that we can all see. Uh, we also have to salute the governors we've been having in Lagos State as they have been consistently building up on the legacy of uh, Alaji Latif Jakonde, also at the same time incorporating their own vision for the, for the geometric progression in the development of a Lagos into a mega city. So we also have to salute them, salute uh, the former governor, His Excellency, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, who came with his own blueprint lay another foundation for the development of Lagos to where it is today. Lagos said it was not like this before life was happening that but he laid the foundation, the foundation we of which all the all the citizens uh, and government and the government are now building upon. Jagaba 23. Ah, in fact, we have nothing to stop with him. We are there for him. And we are, by the grace of God, we know he's going to that place. So, he's going to Abuja, will be our president in this country. We are celebrating the celebrant who performed 40 years ago. And everybody is happy with him. He was Baba Kikiri, and he died like Baba. And that's why we are happy to celebrate him today. So, thank you very much. So, what do you think um, the new uh, generation politicians can actually emulate from? Um, they should learn from him. They should learn from him. The legacy, because of the legacy, because it's the mandate. Before he has gone, he has carried everybody along. And they have done a very wonderful thing to the questions. He has given them a training, and I want them to follow his legacy. So I think, and also they are doing it. That's why today they honor him, because he was in the 40 days area. As well as the Bola Metunumbu um, is the director general for his movement. And uh, he learned much from uh, Jokonde. So that's why I think if we can go through the, uh, the biography of uh, Latin Jokonde, so as well as you have learned more about him. That's why we think that we should come out and support the Baba Bola Metunumbu. And uh, especially we that from North Youth were ready to go for him. In the, in the, in the next few days, I'm sure you will be 69. What are your best wishes for him as I always pray for him more health and more energy. And I pray for him to still looking younger. Like someone just 50. So we pray for him for his good health. And he will continue doing the good of his day. During the era of Baba, my wife's mother happened to be one of the chief justices of Lagos. Baba happens to be somebody I know very closely because my late father too was one of the high chiefs of Baba Oyeko in Kodi. And I know her partner at that time. And uh, I grew up, let me say, with Baba at Lube. And that is why I want to continue to honor him. In fact, I'm going to, my, I, I can, I can't again. 
for my children and grandchildren. If they give birth, if they give birth, I will, I will name them after Baba. Amazon is gone, an enigma, and an icon. Farewell, Baba.